Hello everyone, my name is Cherry. I am currently a student in dietetics and for the holiday season that is coming soon, I will share with you a special spring roll recipe. When we talk about spring rolls, you know those fry rolls that are golden and crispy on the outside, people usually think about vegetables or meat flavored with or without plum sauce. But if you explore a bit more into the food tradition and eating behaviors of people in the south side of China, you will find that they use a bit more sugar into their cooking, even when it comes to spring rolls. So in the south side of China, you will find such things as sweet red bean spring rolls. So um, the plan of today is to give you a little background into about red beans. Then I will go through some of the food and safety guidelines before sharing with you the red bean spring roll recipe. I will follow up with some health benefits of red beans and give you some examples of other ways you can incorporate it into your diet. Red bean is also known as ethic beans. It is mainly produced and consumed in Asia. In Chinese Mandarin, it's called uh, hong dou. So hong stands for red and dou for beans. It is often made into a paste and used as filling or topping for various dishes and desserts. In terms of nutrition, it is super rich in protein, fiber, complex carbs, antioxidants, and all sorts of vitamins and minerals. For 100 grams of azuki beans, you get almost 8 grams of protein, 7 grams of fiber, very little, almost no fat, 11% of it in iron, 15% in potassium, 13% in folate, and so on. So this is very healthy and nutritious. Before moving on to the recipe, I will make a quick reminder about some of the general food safety guidelines. If you have long hair, you should tie them before playing with spoon. Also make sure to wash your hands thoroughly with water and soap for at least 20 seconds before and after preparation. Avoid cross-contamination by using different cutting boards and cookware for raw versus cooked food. Avoid the temperature danger zone of 4 to 60 degrees Celsius, which is the range where bacteria grow rapidly. So food should not be left at room temperature for more than two hours. And make sure to clean and sanitize at the end. At home, you can use some Lysol wipes to sanitize. As for kitchen safety, do not leave food unattended on the stove. Since we will be using a blender, make sure that you plug in the wire after you put the ingredients inside um, and to disassemble the blender before washing it. We will also be using a pressure cooker for our beans, so you should always open the lid away from you to prevent uh, getting burned. You want to protect yourself from heat when releasing steam. You can use oven gloves to remove the pressure valve. If you don't have a pressure cooker, that's fine. You can simply use a regular pot, bring the beans to a boil and let it simmer. Also know your nearest emergency exit and you should also have a first aid kit accessible. So with all these in mind, so we are ready for the recipe, so bon cuisine. The ingredients that you need are one and a half cup of red beans or azuki beans, one and a half cup of water, half a cup of brown sugar, white sugar works as well, two tablespoons of canola oil or any other oil you have at home, and 48 spring roll sheets. So let's get started. I will just turn my camera off and play this video. Hello everyone, this is Cherry. As the holidays are coming, I'll be playing Bambi for today. And I'll share with you a very cool spring roll recipe. And this one is very special because it can not only serve as a natural, so an appetizer, but it can also be a dessert. So we are going to make a sweet red bean spring roll. You can use this kind of red bean 
filling that you can find at any Asian grocery store, so something like this. But we are getting one step fancier because we're going to make our own red bean fillings. So it's going to be homemade, tastier, and healthier. So I'm going to tie my hair, remove my earrings, put my apples on, wash my hands, and I'll see you soon. Okay, I am back and ready. I'll start by walking you through the ingredients that we'll need for today. Let's take a look. We need one and a half cup of red beans, also called azuki beans. We need water. This is three times the amount of beans, so around four and a half cup of water. Half cup of brown sugar. 30 ml of oil, so this is two tablespoons. I'm using canola oil, but you can use other vegetable oils as well. And of course, our spring roll pasty doll. All right, so uh, first step is to cook our beans. I already washed it and rinsed it, so now I'm just adding the beans and water to my pressure cooker. Turn the heat on. So it's been around 35 minutes. Our beans should be ready. Now I'm gonna open up pressure cooker and see how it looks like. Make sure to open the cap away from you to prevent the steam from, in case, uh, burning your face. Good. This is how our beans looks like. It's very soft and ready to be blenderized. So now I transferred out all the beans to our blender and we can blenderize it. That was about 15 seconds and we're getting this kind of paste texture and that's exactly what we want. Now we're getting a non-stick pan. I'm turning this heat on medium. Now we can pour all our, of our wrapping paste to this pan. Just gonna mix it. Ooh. So you want to dry the paste out a little bit. And um, now we can add our oil. I'll start with half of it. Just mix it in. So now it's been about five, six minutes. I'm adding the re remaining half of the oil to the mixture. And again, I'm trying here to mix it all together. This has been another mi another minute and everything is pretty much well mixed together. And I'm, so now I'll add our brown sugar. And again, mix it very well.
So another five minutes has passed and now we are getting a perfect mixture of our filling. So it should be something like this. So quite uh, like dry enough, not too wet so that we can roll it properly. I'm turning the fire off. I just transferred everything from the pan to this bowl and I will let it sit for around 10 minutes so that when we're going to make our spring roll, we don't burn our hands. While we're waiting for our red bean paste or filling to cool, we can start separating or preparing our uh, spring roll dough. We'll have to separate these into single sheets like this. Mm -hmm. It's actually quite a fun process, <laughs> so we're not getting bored. Uh, now we're ready to assemble everything together. What you need is to take one sheet of your dough, place it like this, so it's the little corner towards you. You want to put your filling, so it's a tablespoon. In the middle or like in the middle more towards you uh, area of the sheet then you're gonna use your finger and elongate it a little bit to form a rectangular shape and obviously I wash my hand before doing this so very important for food safety reasons okay now you want to fold this uh, corner over your filling and you want to press it down a little bit and roll it at the same time. Okay, then you want to fold the sides of, of our roll. Roll it again. At this point, you want to dip your finger in some water like this and wet the little corner of your, of your dough so that when you twist it again, it can stick. So we're doing the final roll here. And there, we, there you go. This is how it should look like. Here's a look of 24 spring rolls ready to be fried. I got another batch of them because with the amount of red beans that we prepared, we can actually make 48 of them. Now it's time to fry our spring rolls. So I got here a pan of oil. I use, I'm using canola oil, but you can use the vegetable one if you want. I'm gonna put it on the stove and turn the heat on high and just let the uh, oil heat up. Our oil is ready because we can see bubbles coming out of it. So we can put our spring rolls inside. So we want to get something that will be golden on both sides. Oh, a little, a little trouble flipping this. Okay, so at this point it should be ready. So something like this. This is our finished plate, red bean spring rolls. 
Okay, so I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Um, as a side note, spring rolls always taste better when they are freshly made so that they can keep their crispiness on the outside. If you know that you won't eat 48 of them, you can keep the extra ones in the freezers and fry them before eating next time. Okay, so um, not only is this recipe very delicious, let's see some of the benefits you can get from eating red beans. But first of all, it's good for your gut health. That is because red beans contains lots of soluble fiber and resistant starch. Basically, these fibers do not get digested, but we pass down your digestive system and reach your intestine. In the gut, we got plenty of bacteria. And the great, great majority of them are good bacteria, which are beneficial for our health. These fibers and resistant starches can serve as food for these good bacteria, also, soluble fiber absorbs water and help to soften your stool so that it can pass down more easily through your digestive system and promote good motility for the gut. Another health benefit of these little beans is that they seem to help with glucose glucose control, so management or prevention of diabetes. They can inhibit the activity of alpha-glucosidase. Alpha-glucosidase is something that helps to break down the complex carbs into a little sugar molecule so that your body can absorb it. By inhibiting or like decreasing this activity, you get a delayed digestion and absorption of the sugar molecule. So your sugar level will have less of a spike after meals. And this is how it can play a role in blood sugar control. There are so many more potential benefits of the azuki beans like anti-aging or because of the antioxidant uh, content or cardioprotective effect because of the high potassium. And, and so on. So, you know, there's so much more that you can do with red beans beyond spring rolls. Um, you can use the filling as a spread for your toast. You can use it as topping for various kind of waffles, pastries, baked bun, and biscuit. You can just add the cooked beans to soup, salad, and chilies. You can incorporate in smoothies, oats, or any other beverages and desserts. So get creative, have fun, and enjoy. Thank you everyone for listening and happy holidays.